Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look inside Amber Heard's secret desert hideaway. Let's get right into it. Amber Heard is reportedly preparing to take a break in the desert she adores now that her horrific six-week defamation trial against ex-husband Johnny Depp has come to a conclusion. According to rumors, the actress is preparing to move to a $1 million three-bedroom family house in Joshua Tree, California with her one-year-old daughter, Una. A source revealed to Mirror, Amber loves spending time in the desert. It's the one place she can get away from everything. She's really connected with the artistic community there and feels she experiences a true getaway. The source continued, Joshua Tree is full of cool hipsters and it's just her scene. She can get away from it all and it's a sanctuary, adding, in recent months, it's given her time to reflect and escape the pressures of the case. In fact, Amber Heard said, perhaps it's easy to forget but I am a human being, on the final day of the trial. We guess the getaway will definitely help her ease the trial's heat. The 36-year-old actor stated in her opening evidence as first reported by Dirt.com that she resides in a small area named Yucca Valley, not in Bel Air, Montecito, Hidden Hills or any other famous hotspot. The rural setting, 200 kilometers east of Los Angeles in the harsh, magnificent Mojave Desert, is hardly a place where you'll discover a slew of A-listers. In actuality, the town has a population of only approximately 22,000 people and is noted for its art culture, as well as its closeness to well-known destinations such as Joshua Tree, Coachella and Palm Springs. The house itself was purchased by Heard in 2019, however, according to the New York Post, property records show it was bought through a trust attached to Heard's accountant. The unique 2015 built mansion, which cost $795,000 at the time, has three bedrooms, three bathrooms and stands on 24,281 square meters of parched but gorgeous property. The six acre property is naturally landscaped, which means it's mainly maintenance free for Herd's peace of mind. No thirsty non-native vegetation or inconvenient irrigation systems. But the listing does note that the property is wired for a central controlled sprinkler system should Heard want to set up that operation. Features include a large open plan kitchen, a living and dining area with vaulted ceilings, a fireplace and floor to ceiling windows that no doubt provide Heard with exceptional views of the surrounding desert. Other amenities include a whole home stereo system and views over the surrounding hills and desert valleys. A handcrafted 34 meter bridge allows inhabitants to cross a dried up creek and access an elevated gazebo set on a rocky slope, which is a unique and little weird feature of the property. Despite the fact that Heard bought the house in 2019, the mother of one only moved in earlier this year, as seen by recent Instagram images from the Aquaman Stars account showing her relaxing by the backyard bridge. Heard made a wise decision with the purchase, as desert prices in California have soared since the coronavirus pandemic. In case you missed it, Depp filed a $50 million lawsuit against his ex-wife for an op-ed she wrote for the Washington Post in 2018. Heard claimed to be a survivor of domestic abuse in the piece, which Depp's lawyers believe have harmed his Hollywood career chances, despite the fact that he was not addressed in the story. In retaliation, Heard filed a countersuit for $100 million, alleging that Depp had assaulted her throughout their turbulent marriage. The usually publicized trial came to a close on May 27, 2022. Meanwhile, Amber Heard's planned desert escape drew a lot of attention on Twitter. While some people appeared to be in favor of her, the majority of users appeared to be against her on the platform. One user wrote, Hashtag justice for Johnny Depp. You know who else loved the desert? Cult leaders Manson to start with. Maybe everyone should see her for what she is, only her sister, only one left, as others realize what she is. Another said, Amber Heard droned on about how super sensitive and delicate her skin was. Then she buys a house in the desert. One tweet read, At Sky News, what you really should be reporting on is the fact at Real Amber Heard can somehow buy a $1 million home in the desert but stiff the children's hospital out of money. Her guy has been through the ringer, let him burn some steam playing guitar supporting a friend. Another wrote, it's not a hideaway if she provides photographs of it to the press, good lord, while someone added, yet she still hasn't given the pledge divorce settlement to charity. If she can lie publicly about how she donated all the money to a children's hospital, then what else will she lie about? She is a scheming, lying liar that lies. What a turd she is. But it seems like it's not the end of an alley for Amber. Amber Heard's attorney said on NBC's Today that her client absolutely wants to appeal a Virginia jury's decision that found the actress liable for defaming Johnny Depp in her Washington Post op-ed claiming domestic abuse. Guess we just have to wait and find out what's next for her. 
That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.